All right, can you guys hear me? All right, cool. Uh, I'm gonna kick it off with some, uh, some recognition here, and then for the call today, a bunch of us went to the, uh, the leadership retreat in Scottsdale this past weekend. So there's kind of like three main Beachbody corporate events. You got the Success Club trip in the kind of winter, spring time, like March, April every year. That's like a trip that you can earn with Success Club points. It's like a fun kind of just like a getaway celebration. And then you got the big, huge event that everyone's invited to. Uh, in the summer for Summit, which is usually in July. And then the third one is an invite-only leadership retreat for all of the five-star diamond coaches and above. And uh, I think there was probably 250 coaches that went plus their guests. So there was 500 of us there. Um, so it's just a really cool smaller event where you get to – be in a small group with like all the leaders, all of like the movers and shakers in the business. And it's not crazy. Like summit is with not as many people. So you can really like take the time to ask them questions and get to know them and connect with them. And it, it, it's an event that's really near and dear to my heart because the first time I ever went to that event, I was supposed to be a two star diamond at the time. You're supposed to be a two star diamond to get invited and I had hit two star diamond, but when I showed up to the event, I was only a Ruby because I had dropped rank. Um, I didn't tell anybody that I kept that to myself, but that event was such a huge p pivotal moment in, in not just my business, but you know, my mom's business. Cause she came as my guest and we kind of left that first leadership event as uh, with our eyes wide open to the possibility because we were hanging around spending a lot of time in a very, you know, intimate setting with people that had already done the impossible, which we, you know, like had already been making millions of dollars. We got to meet them, have a beer with them, chat with them. And we were just like, we just realized that these people weren't any different than us. They just made a lot more money than us, <laughs> you know, because they had put in the work. So this is something to definitely have on, you know, as one of your goals, like to make sure you're shooting for this as, you know, five star diamond is a great goal because you get a nice quarterly bonus. It's, I think it's like 2,500 extra dollars a quarter, you know, 25 to 3,000 a quarter that you get just for being a five-star. You get the VIP coach uh, number, you know, when you want to co call coach relations. So you don't have to you – you get the manager, you know, so you get someone who knows what they're talking about, which is nice. And then you also get invited to this event. So it's a really great uh, addition to all the benefits of five-star is this event every fall. So, all right. Obviously, besides getting to meet and hang out with all those people, you get to. See if I can just mute. Okay. If you guys could just mute yourself. Uh, I think it's Clarissa. Oh, there, there you go. Okay. So we're going to talk about all the big updates that, you know, Carl, this is the owner and founder and CEO of Beachbody, he comes to the, the leadership event every year and he shares all his new, exciting products he's coming out with and, and ideas and promotions and, you know, some of the top coaches in the, in the company share their top tips, what's like really been blowing up their business. So we have some really good things to share with you. But real quick, just a little uh, success club update for you guys. So this is, I think, two days old. But so these are the coaches that are at success club so far this month. Um, so we got Kelsey Connor, Emily Kabaka, Amy Eckert, Julia Pierre, Haley Walker, Olivia Brackett, Jonah Pedro, Ashley... Panta Supos, Yasmin Cano, Megan Wortham, Rachel Folda, Colleen Silvers, Caitlin Walsh, Casey Bocklet, Ashley Morgan, Maddie Guterman, Lindsay Redding, or Lindsay Elena, Kelly Marks, Michelle Humerick, Aubrey Campbell, Lacey Peasley, Michaela Vardulkis, Kelsey Moore, Marie Sardelli, Chris Bocklet, and Celine Bacardi. And then Success Club 10, we got Christina Tropiano, Megan Jones, Emmy Huseman, Chloe Gambrill, Shanika Story, Emma Carney, Sydney Thompson, Caitlin Teft, Ashley Feldison, Bailey Glanzer, Carrie Steelman Schmidt, Kate Schultz, and Cassie Schmelzinger. Okay, so that is that's your 
Success Club, and then for top volume producers. So these are the coaches that with their orders and their customer orders created the most team volume, you know, for, for the upline. So sometimes when you order or when you sell a product, you know, the PV you, you get for that is a little bit different than the TV that rolls up to your upline. Another way to think of that is the coaches below you, like if a coach below you sold a challenge pack, you know, that coach would get like 130 personal volume points, but the TV you would get from that, that would roll up to you, your team volume would be more like 50 or so. Um, okay. So these, these are the top 20 coaches that created the most team volume, you know, from all of their orders that rolled up, you know, to their upline. So Bailey Glanzer had over 300. And then, so he's, these are all the coaches that created over 300 last week. Megan Jones, Emily Manges, Brooke Reed, Ashley Feldyson, Melissa Weber, Jennifer Nielsen, Anna Diaz, Megan Wortham, Marilyn Crawford, Michelle Humerick, and Chris Bocklet. And then over 400, we got Christina Tropiano, Kate McGinty, Sydney Thompson, Emma Carney, Casey Bocklet, and Kate Schultz. With over 500, we got Kelly Marks. And with over 1,000 team volume created, uh, Carrie Steelman Schmidt. So if you have Carrie Steelman Schmidt in your downline, you know, make sure you reach out to her and thank her for creating over a thousand team volume points for, you know, for you. One coach creating a thousand team volume points in your downline for you is unreal. Like just having one leg that has over a thousand team volume points is a really good goal. Uh, so if Carrie is in your downline, make sure you're reaching out to her, you know, to congratulate her on a, on a huge week or just, to congratulate her whether or not she's in your downline just because that's a, an unbelievable accomplishment. All right. So that is the recognition uh, for the week. That's the top 20 volume producers and the um, success club. One real quick last one. So these are the coaches that have enrolled uh, multiple coaches this month. So we got Ashley Phil Dyson enrolled six, Cassie Schmelzinger with five, Taitlin Teft with five, Kate Schultz with four, Lacey Peasley with four, Shanika Dunn with four, Ashley Pantazupols with three, Aubrey Campbell with three, Bailey Glanzer with three, Sheridan Coffee with three, Athena Towns with two, and then, and then the rest of these coaches had two coaches as well. Chelsea Rollison, Chloe Gambrell, Cynthia Carter, Deidre Wilson, Emily Bocklet, Haley Loveridge, Haley Wapple. Jackie Howe, Jennifer Nielsen, Jessica Halfpop, Jessica Stewart, Jonah Pedro, Caitlin Walsh, Maurice Sardelli, Marilyn Crawford, Michelle Humerick, and Yasmin Cano. Okay, that's the recognition. Um, okay, let's jump into this call. I think my sister, so my sister Andrea uh, Wallace also uh, qualified for it. Uh, Amy Realman or Eckert, Amy Realman Eckert. Is it Amy Eckert Realman or Amy Realman Eckert? I don't know. How's it go? But so Amy also qualified, but she just had her little daughter Piper, so she couldn't make it. Um, Ashley Feld Dyson was there. She's been on Team Boom for I think I want to say five years. Um, first three years in the business was trying to figure out her way in this business. Last two years in this business, she's exploded in the business, and uh, it was really cool because you know I got to meet a lot of people you know, that knew her. They didn't know me, but they knew her because it was like half the people at the event were, you know, people that have been in the business forever that I have known. And, I, and uh, so I knew them and Ashley didn't know them and, and uh, her coach, Kate Schultz, that qualified and, and then Ashley's guest, uh, Michelle Humerick um, and my coach, Danielle uh, Reem came and Andrea, my sister was there. Um, so it was a good crew, but it was funny because half of the people that were there were like the, the OGs, you know, the old, the, the, the old original gangsters that, that I know and they know me because we've been going to these events forever. Um, and so I got to introduce, you know, Kate and Danielle and, and uh, Ashley to them. And then all these other new and up and comer five-star diamonds that I didn't know. And I've never met before, you know, Ashley and Kate and Danielle, and they all knew them. So I got to meet them through them. So we kind of, they knew half the people there and I knew the other half. So it worked out pretty fun, pretty well. Um, okay. So I think, uh, Annie, my sister, Annie put together a little, uh, did you put it together a little PowerPoint? I think you said Annie with some of the, some of the stuff. 
there were some, I think like the first day is, is usually, you know, like product announcements. So like usually they kick off the event um, on Wednesday. Wednesday is like the, you know, elite night. If you make elite, you know, you get to go Wednesday night, you get an extra night just with the elite coaches and uh, they have a big party for the elite coaches Wednesday night. And then, you know, on a workout just for the lead coaches Thursday morning. And then during the day Thursday, there's a guest speaker and Carl talks to just the elite coaches. And then Thursday night, the rest of the five star diamonds and above that qualified, you know, they fly in Thursday and there's a big kind of, you know, everybody's there for Thursday night's big party to kind of kick it off. Um, Carl says a few words to kind of welcome everybody. And it's an open bar and food and all the food you can want and drinks and, you know, like crazy, they just take care of you. It's, it's awesome. Um, they put us in, you know, we had a, a free room that was like a, a two bedroom suite, you know, with like a fireplace. It was 98 degrees in Scottsdale. Oh, we didn't really need that, but there was like six pools and we were right on the TPC Scottsdale uh, golf course, which is where they have one of the big PGA tours every year, the waste management open. Um, so it was just like an, an unbelievable, really cool resort and uh, an awesome room and everything but then so then friday mornings like the opening kind of session and carl opens it up with all the big product announcements so i don't know if, annie do you have like the a slideshow for that part yeah okay cool okay hi guys um so like pat said i was able to go to the leadership event um this was the fourth or fifth time that i've gone to one and i think this one was by far my favorite one. Um, when I, before I went, I told a couple of my leaders, I was a little nervous to go because like Pat said, you're coming together with like 200 of the other leaders in the group. But once you get there, it's like, everybody is just so genuine, so nice, so eager to like help each other out. It doesn't matter if they're been in the business for like years or like it's their first time being there. And I heard there were so many new coaches that attended to this, which just makes it um, show that this, our business is growing. Our you know, company is like coming out with so many awesome products. Um, and the best part is just networking and meeting people um, that really want to help you, even if they have nothing to do with your business. So I'm in a little slideshow. I'm a visual person. So can you guys see this? Okay. Um, so one of the cool things is that they have this, um, camera guy following you around and he takes all your photos. And so we got to try the peppermint Shakeology, which was one of my highlights because I got to see peppermint the penguin. And, and I'm so glad that's one of your highlights. Is this a bit more like peppermint to me, but it was, I thought it was like, it tasted amazing. Um, so I'm really, really excited about this launch. Um, and I think that your customers are really going to like it and it's coming out November 3rd. So I would, I would start to talk about this on your stories. Um, it's going to be a really big thing for you to, um, to drive volume in your team, to, to get this out to your, to new challengers, old challengers. You can send an email. Um, this is a picture of us the last night. So like Pat said, um, they pretty much wine and dine you the whole time. Um, and the last night they had this big, um, I don't know, it was like a team. So uh, we got, this is a picture of everyone from Team Boom that came and hands down, like I know for a fact that there's gonna be so many people that are going to the new leadership conference, which is in February, which is for one star. Um, and that's the first one that I ever went to. And then um, this leadership one is next October in the same area. Okay, so this is kind of the rollout of the new la uh, launches. Um, I'm, I posted all of this in the Boom Fam for you guys, and then I'm going to post some more slides that they provided for us. So you guys will have all of this information to give to your team. Um, but one of the new exciting things is the bod groups. So just like we have our tra challenge tracker app, like a separate app, they're coming up with this thing called the bod groups which is basically gonna be a challenge group right on your website. So right on Team Beachbody, when you go into your BOD, that's where they're gonna store the BOD group. So it's like a challenge group that your coaches and your customers can easily access and synced in right into your website. So I think this is gonna be huge for so many of us that like don't wanna use the app and something different. Um, and we're stuck you know, with the Facebook. 
but they're also going to be corporates going to be putting in like shakeology and energize and recovery and the three day refresh. So they're going to be syncing that into your bod group with a lot of content for you. So you don't have to recreate it and be posting all the time. So, um, he kind of, he kind of explained this. Carl was like, so excited about this. Like it's the next big thing, like Peloton or like something like that. Um, but this is going to be a huge thing for us and for our customers too. It's going to sync everything together. So I, that's Annie, something that's coming. I don't know exactly. Hey, what September, but. Um, the way I heard like what, what he said about the bod groups is basically it's the same as, you know, the, the challenge tracker app that we use now. It's, you know, it's a news feed and you check in. Um, it's going to be just the same as that, except it's also going to have the share a cart built into the same app. So instead of having like the share a cart app, you know, or website, and then the, the challenge tracker app is two separate things. They're going to be one thing. So bod groups is going to have, you're going to be able to share, share, do your share a cart right from the bod groups. You're going to be able to run your, you know, your challenge right from the, the bod groups. Um, so it's kind of an all in one instead of having, you know, a separate share cart app and a separate like challenge tracker app. It's all, all right there, which is really cool. It makes it all of like all in one spot. Yeah. And then he said that they're going to put a huge more emphasis on nutrition um, because he's like the pro you know, our workouts are so popular, but now he's like really pushing strong for like tying in that whole, you know, the workout nutrition. So you're going to have a lot of that being pushed in there as well. Right. And it's not going to be, this isn't something that's coming out until like next spring. So it's something yeah. they're, you know, they're working on, um, right now. So, but it's just a cool kind of, he's always trying to make things like more streamlined and easier, you know, for us to give our customers a better experience um, and to make things easier for us to have, you know, all everything kind of all in one spot. So for you, for you guys that use the share cart and use the challenge tracker app, you guys are going to love this because you're going to be able to do everything right from, from one place now. Right. Like you saying, if, if your, if your challenges are in there and they're like, I, I, I'm not getting up in the morning or whatever. And you, you think of energized, you can actually make a share cart and like send it to them right through this app. So that's kind of right. Cool. Yeah. Um, and then obviously the, um, four, so four weeks of the prep. So we have the work, which is out right now. Um, but he, the, the trainer wanted to get a broader scope of people, um, involved in this program. So he's coming out with four weeks of the prep and that comes out January 6th. So this would be like a free workout that you would do before you did the work. So you can. At the same time, his idea was that if you have people that are on a higher level that want to do the work, they can start that right away. And then you can also have people doing that maybe need a little bit more modification. Maybe they're coming off, um, you know, just had a baby or they have some, you know, a little bit less Then they can do the four weeks of the prep and you can actually run, they can do those two programs at the same time. So that's something that's pretty exciting that's coming out. Um, when they're coming out with these programs, they're always talking about marketing, which Kate Schultz on our team spoke on stage. Um, so we do have a recording of her talking about that. But her biggest thing was like, you have to get on board with these launches because this is really what's gonna move your, your business forward. So one of the biggest launches that we should be talking about if people are finishing up with the MM100 is the, what, when you're going to run your first, the, uh, the work challenge group. So for so many people, MM 100 ends on no, November 4th. So a lot of the coaches were talking about making sure that right now that you're talking about the work, you're setting up your challenge group, you're doing the sneak peek, and then you're enrolling people into that new challenge group in November. Um, so that was a big thing that they were talking about. Um, Bar blend, I got to try it twice. Um, hey, Annie, Annie, yeah. before we move on to the, um, to the bar blend. Yep, go ahead. I just wanted to share one thing. I know dad's going to love this, or he's always into this kind of thing, but can you, how do you unshare this? I can't see anybody right now. Yeah. Um, I want to see my dad's face when I say this. So, um, so there's, there's some, there's like a few programs that like coaches aren't promoting right now you know like country heat p90x power 90 insanity there's like these old old programs that like coaches never talk about 
And so Carl is putting some marketing money into some direct sales, like infomercials and stuff, so that we can start to sell some of these older programs. And I know sometimes my dad's like, he doesn't like that there's, you know, sometimes my dad, uh, Carl, like competes with coaches because he has the infomercial side of the business. Um, and he kind of completely got rid of that. He was like, I'm getting rid of the direct marketing. It's only going to be the coach network. And so I'm not going to put any money into infomercials. There's not going to be the Beachbody side. It's only Team Beachbody. And they did that. And what they found was that they were missing out on a lot of people because coaches aren't promoting some of those older products. So Carl's going to be putting not as anywhere near as much money as he used to, but he's putting some money into some direct sales on the Beachbody side of the business to get some of those older programs, you know, up on TV. And then those people are coming in to the coaching network as customer leads. So it's going to bring, you know, more people into the business, it's going to bring more customer leads into the business. It's going to get people excited about some of the old programs that, you know, none of the coaches are talking about. Um, he, and then he also said that, you know, that this, what they've done in last year was 250,000 customers have come in through that direct, uh, that direct sales side of the business as customer leads. And that has in turn created 50 million team volume points uh, for the coaches. So he's going to, you know, do a little bit of more marketing around some of those old, you know, P90X and Sandys and things like that. So you might see some, you know, infomercials and things, which will go into the customer lead program. So even more, reason for you guys to help your new coaches get to emerald so they can start to get back into that customer lead pro the, the lead wheel um so that was something that a lot of people were, were excited about uh getting more and more customer leads because i know that that's something that that uh, it got me really excited when i first started um and then he said hey l listen guys like this customer lead program is going to be amazing and but this is just for workout programs where the co people are coming in with workout programs it's the coaches job to then help them with their nutrition with their meal plans with 21 day fix to be mindset shakeology you know the supplements and things like that um okay and then yeah so the work so you, if you guys don't know the work you know the vip access is already out it's already available you know some people are already like on their fourth week of it so they're already even more than halfway through with the work um, it's not a program that's for everybody it's more of an advanced program. There's no modifiers. It's 45 minute intense workouts, you know, a type like an insanity type workout, um, you know, more of an advanced type. So it's not for everybody, but like Annie said, in January, they're going to come out with four weeks of the prep with the same trainer. And this, this trainer is awesome. He, like he's got such amazing energy. He's, he's got such a like huge heart, but like he's just so driven and motivating um, he swears a lot, so I hope you guys are cool with that. But if you're not, there's a clean version of his workouts. Um, but Carl did say that 90% of the workouts are, that are being downloaded are the explicit version and only 10% are the clean version. So I think that tells you something about, you know, people and, or just Beachbody in general. So uh, people are loving that. And I'm, I'm, I'm just finished day two. Um, I'm totally committed to this thing. I'm doing all six weeks of it. Uh, I'll, you know, I got called out on that by Ashley, you know, when we went out to dinner, she asked me what program I was doing. And I just got back from a, you know, a two week vacation and hadn't really fully committed to a workout program. But, you know, after we had that dinner, I said, I'm doing this program. I'm doing this thing all the way out. And uh, it's already made, you know, starting conversations with people so much easier. It's made the invitation process so much easier because I'm in love with what I'm doing. I'm having a great time with my workout. So it just makes the, you know, the conversations and the inviting so much more fun. So, um, that is the six weeks of the work. That's the VIP is already out. And then the, the, when you buy the six weeks of the work, um, you'll get the four weeks prep, that, but that's not going to release until January. Um, and then it comes out to all beach body, you know, users, I think in the spring. So that if you want the VIP early access, you got to, I think for coaches, it's, I want to say it's like, 37 bucks or something like that. Um, don't, I don't call me on that. I think it's 37 or you can get the completion pack. And then for customers that have BOD, I think it's like 50. Um, so that's the, the work that's out right now. Um, you do need like the little sliders and the, the, the resistance loops. Um, 
but you guys are going to love this guy. He is, he's the man. Um, he reminds me of like a combination of like a Sean T, Chris Downing, uh, Tony Horton, like all kind of mixed into one. And he, he trains NBA basketball players, like NBA guys seek him out to train with him in LA. The best, some of the best NBA players in the world go to him to train with him. And that's the reason Carl got him to create a, an advanced program for us. So for, for your clients that are you know, more advanced, this is going to be right up their alley. Yeah, and I highly suggest you guys look up his story too, um, the background for him, because he comes from kind of like a really bad area and like it didn't really have much family support and he was adopted by one of his friend's moms and he went through like a lot of adversity to like get where he was. And one of his first programs that got him back on track and choosing the path of fitness was P90X. Um, so if you look up his backstory, he just has like a total heart for, for this company. And you could tell this is the first event he's ever been to. And he was just, he was so excited to be surrounded by our community and the coaches. And, you know, we helped change his life, um, way long time ago, like 10 years ago when he first did P90X. So that's one of the reasons why he decided to pair with Beachbody is because this P90X basically changed his direction in his life. Yeah, his name's Mwala Caesar, or C Caesar. Is it Caesar, right? But his first name's a little funny to pronounce. It's Mwala, A-M-O-L-I-A, -I, I think. Yeah. Mwala, Mwala Caesar. Um, but yeah, I think he's from like, I want to say Riviera Beach in uh, Florida. Does that sound right, Riviera Beach? It's like kind of near like Fort Lauderdale. It's a really rough area. Yeah. I think he's he, from Riviera Beach. It's right. It's just north of West Palm. Yeah. He grew up with his family and his mother. He had to, he he left his he left his uh, his mother there. It's a big big drug area. I actually stayed there in West Palm Beach, right on the beach. It's a huge drug infested area, and I, I drove through it. And you don't want to drive through there at night. And anyways, he um his mother was on drugs, and he ended up um basically being adopted by this other family and the other family he, there's a guy that he played volleyball with so he was basically adopted by this other family and what he came from and what he's accomplished that is crazy yeah what it yeah, so. got him to go to college so anyways a little side note there yeah yeah I just, he's awesome. it's good to see the background of where he comes and why he's so passionate about our company and I think he said he had like 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 five brothers and four sisters and um, but yeah then he he got into fitness because his uh, his adopted family you know his adopted the brother of the a family that adopted him came back from college and was like ripped you know and he was and he was like what the heck is what's what have you been doing he, and he had been doing P90X and so he got it and he fell in love with it and he went back to school that next year and changed his major to exercise science. Um, and then got into the fitness world and moved out to LA and he was training some kind of B-list celebrities and things like that out there. And uh, Julie, Julius Randall, who's like a big time NBA player, he was like, I think the number one overall pick back, you know, a few years back, saw him on Instagram and reached out, you know, just DM'd him and said, hey, I want to work with you. And uh, Amwala posted his like three week transformation of, you know, Julius Randall's three week tr transformation. And then that's when all the other NBA players wanted to work with him and celebrities and rappers and everything. And that's how, when he started to be kind of big on the whole fitness radar and Carl reached out to him and asked him if he would make a program for Beachbody. So yeah, he's got, he comes from a, an unbelievable back, uh, you know, story and his background and everything. Um, so we're all rooting for him and, and I, I know he's going to be a big success. So it's, it's, a, it's really exciting to watch. So hopefully you guys, you know, get to try this thing. Don't kill yourself doing it. It's, it's not easy, but, um, you can always kind of modify some of the moves yourself. I know that I am. Um, I'm not really getting too high off the ground, maybe an inch or two, um, if at all. Okay, cool. So, so yeah, so now Annie was going was gonna to talk about the new program that, that, that's coming out in the winter. Um, I, think, I think December, January timeframe. Uh, I guess Carl said, you know, he said that people, if there's one type of program that people have been bugging him to come out with forever, uh, it, it was a bar program. Um, so he kept kind of putting it off, putting it off, but 
he finally decided, all right, it's time to do it. And he, he interviewed some of the top bar instructors, you know, all across the country. Um, and he went with Elise, uh, who is one of the yoga instructors from the three week yoga retreat. Uh, my favorite instructor from that program. She does week two of that program. I'm always doing her yoga. Um, so I was excited to see that she had got to have her own program now. Um, so that's coming out in the winter. Or just, you, can, you can get access to it. You can like order it for coaches on December 3rd, customers on December 16th. So you can pre-order December 3rd for coaches, December 16th for customers. And then the VIP access starts on January 13th. And also as part of the program, I think it's a 60 day program. She, the one little kind of her personal touch is there's going to be a different affirmation card for every day of the program. So it's, it's these I am affirmations um, so there's 60 different I am affirmation cards each, you know, each workout's going to, you, you pick a card each day of the program and kind of use that as your affirmation for the day. And so it's going to be a little bit different affirmation that you're going to kind of lean into and live into every day for that whole program, um, which is really cool. And uh, the first workout that we did, so a lot of the guys did the work and then um, we got, you had to choose a workout and we did on Friday, we did the bar workout and Pat was one of the only men in the whole audience. <laughs> so right. she gave him a shout out for trying it. And she had her husband who was a played football, like a pro football player. Um, he did it too. And this program, that's, that's Pat. I mean, you were burning within 10 minutes. Yeah. It is no joke. Um, yeah. We didn't even have a bar with us. We were just using each other. And I think this is going to be a game changer for so many people. And like Carl said, this is like one of the most popular programs and she's an amazing trainer. And the whole time she was doing the workout, I felt like she was, I felt like I was checking off the box of doing personal development while my workout, because she's just that good of a, of a trainer. Um, and so kudos to Pat, who's one of the only guys, but the next day there was more guys that showed up. And they got yeah. yeah, she really, it really did feel kind of like a little bit of personal development, you know, like you left the workout feeling like you had just listened to like Tony Robbins or something like that, you know, cause she is really big on, she's, a, she comes from a yoga background. So she's has a very like kind of positive mindset affirmation type talk as she's, you know, working you through the workouts, you know, she'll say something like, you know, all right, we're going to have to work on our balance on this move. And she's like, isn't balance funny? It, it weaves into all aspects of our life. It's not just your fitness that you need balance. You need to balance in, you know, and she kind of goes on how it ties your workouts and different aspects of your workout into life. It was really cool. Yeah. And I think it'll be huge for our challengers too. Like she talks a lot about like how you have to fail forward and how you at first, no, nothing's going to be perfect and in your business and in your workout. So for a lot of our challengers that are lacking that mindset, I think this is going to be huge for them because that's like half the battle is just them thinking that they can't do it. And so she, she talks like the whole program, she's kind of going over that and really building that up and whatever the, well, she's, I think they started shooting today, but whatever, she's just going to pick one of the daily affirmations cards. And then that's going to be the whole focus of that, of that workout is like, I forgot what she said, like adversity or challenges or whatever the word is. So those are going to be really cool to incorporate into your challenge groups. Um, and then she has really good uh, apparel too that has like all these like shirts that says like I am. Um, yeah. So I think it's going to be pretty big. Yeah. I think people that love like yoga, who, that loved Pio, um, I think this is going to be like right up their alley. I, I, left the pro, I left the workout feeling like, like I knowing that I had worked some muscles I had never really worked before, <laughs> um, you know, like the, on the side of my butt and on my like legs and stuff. And, uh, but also like felt like I was walking taller and my back and my spine just felt like longer. Um, and my neck, I just felt like my posture just felt a lot better when I left. So I kind of think of it, there's like two things I noticed when I left that workout. One, like I felt like I got a really good workout. My muscles got worked like really really well but also I felt like my body was really taken care of and it was like almost was you know a recovery in a way 
kind of similar to how I feel like after I do a Pio workout, it's like, I feel like I really got a good workout. I got some really good cardio, I, but it was low impact, um, but still intense. Uh, so I didn't beat my body up. I've actually like healed my body and, but also got like a really good cardio for my heart and also really good workout for my muscles. Um, and yes, I was, I was, I was like walking around a little funny the next day. That was pretty sore. So that comes out. Uh, so you can get access to that December 3rd, but it doesn't actually, the workouts don't, aren't the VIP in Beachbody on demand until January 13th. Um, I'm not sure if there's going to be a, I'm sure there's going to be a sample workout. I don't, but they didn't, they didn't say anything about that. Um, and then you want to talk about the nutrition that they're doing with it? Oh yeah. Oh, so, okay. But then also like there's another program. What did they say? So I'm really excited about this. The, when I was in, living in Del Rey, one of my buddies was as a professional like MMA fighter. And so like once in a while I'd go and I'd box with him one-on-one. -on -one. And he would like hold the mitts up and I would like, you know, try to hit the mitts and he'd tell me different combos to hit. And it was one of the best cardio workouts that I could ever go through because it, it tricked my brain into not knowing I was doing cardio because my brain was so focused on my footwork and the combinations that it wasn't paying attention to the fact that I was actually doing cardio. And then I'd, you know, leave his place just exhausted. Um, so it, it's obviously these boxers and these MMA guys are in unbelievable shape. They train like animals. You know, it's, if you've ever tried any kind of boxing or MMA kind of stuff, you're exhausted after like 30 seconds. Um, so they have to be in unbelievable shape. So, um, and it's a big fad right now, these boxing type workouts and cardio stuff. Uh, you, there's different gyms popping up. So you guys all know Joel from lift four and court of force. He's coming out with uh, a boxing program uh, boxing cardio program with different combos and tons of footwork. Um, it's going to be just five days a week. Three, three of the days are going to be the cardio boxing where you're going to be moving tons, like constantly moving, doing different combos, progressing each, each workout each week, getting more combos, more footwork. And then, so that's three days a week of that. And then two days a week of just lifting, um, different than the lift for lifting, but, but he wants you to have some type of strength training that boxers use. So you'll, you'll have the cardio three days a week with the actual like shadow boxing and then two days a week of the, the, the lifting type component. Um, so that's going to be really, really cool. And I think that's coming out in the, in the spring. Um, anything else you remember for that one, Annie? Okay. October, March 9th is the oh, okay, so, exclusive launch and then customers can purchase it March 23rd. Okay. So March 9th customers, March 23rd, that's the VIP and then available to all BOD members on October next October 1st. So there's like a six month VIP window. Cool. Uh, yeah, so, so boxing program with weight lifting interval into the weekly rotation. Okay. Yep. So a lot of you guys have been asking for that. I'm really excited about that. I, you know, I love adding that kind of component to my workouts that, that boxing footwork, comp, adding combinations and your heart rate is just like through the roof. So I think you guys are going to love that. Um, and then with those programs, do you want to talk about the monthly? We'll talk about the monthly fix. Yeah. So you can pair. So they're going to have this when you buy the bar blend challenge pack or the 10 rounds or the work, they have a monthly fix and to be mindset monthly membership, which is going to be 1995. So it's basically 24 seven access to, um, that both the, the to be mindset creator and the monthly fix autumn. Um, they have a group that they can plug into. And it's recipes. replacing, the, it's replacing the old one. It's replacing like the 2B mindset, mem you know, what was, what was the cost of the 2B, 2B mindset? Anybody know? Remember, but yeah, it's basically. It was like a big, it was like a bigger amount. I think it was like, I don't know. I can't remember exactly. It was 80 bucks or something. And same for like the 21 day, you know, th they kind of like are transitioning away from that and transitioning over to a monthly subscription, like a continuity product. So to be part of the, the 2B mindset, it's $19.95 a month. You're going to be part of the private group. Um, she'll be talking to, you know, that people. It'll be kind of like her VIP group. Um, they, I think he said like Weight Watchers is like 20 or 40 bucks 
a month. Um, I think there's like a, a whole 30 type, you know, like support group that's like 20 or 30 bucks a month. So he wanted to create something that would compete with those type of things. Uh, so this 1995 a month is great for either you can do the to be mindset if that works for you or the 1995 a month to be part of autumn's, uh, you know, the, the 20, the, the fixed container, um, stuff. And, yeah. And there is commission content on that and also volume each month. Yeah. If you have customers that are enrolled in it. Yeah. And then also like Rachel Hollis has like a nutrition thing that's like $40 a month. So, I mean, this is, this is going to give you 24 hour access to these two nutritionists, whether, whichever one you pick, you know, for just 1995 a month. Um, so really cool. Yeah. Um, and it commission and, and team volume. So awesome. More continuity products for you, dad. You and go. then there's a vegan bar coming out in December. They didn't give us. I have this um, layout of like all the programs and products and when everything's launching. So I'll post that in the boom fam, which is cool. I missed that. I missed, I guess, the, I, I missed the vegan uh, bar. Yeah, it was coming out in December. Um, and then, so that was based, those are mainly the main programs that are coming out as far as like the fitness programs. Um, with the peppermint shakeology, you know, Carl Darkler was, talking about how you should really compare it to like how Starbucks has a seasonal launch, you know, or McDonald's has that shamrock shake. So you guys can start talking about like the nutrition value in the peppermint shakeology price content, kind of comparing it to those other launches. Cause these are kind of, these are huge for us that they're giving us these little um, launches and new things that can come out. Uh, if your customers had bought the pumpkin, Spice Shakeology, then you want to go back and talk to your your coaches, your customers that ordered those about this new launch that's coming out. And my guess is that this is going to sell out like very quickly. Um, so again, it comes out the fifth, and um, everyone's really really excited about that. So, and I think that's pretty much for the launches. Is there anything else, Pat? Did you have a question, Dad? I think you're muted. <laughs> you're muted. The to be mindset that whole, so if you have the to be mindset now, which is you have it on demand, how is that gonna work with this new setup with 21 day fix and to be mindset? If, if you good. already purchased it, um, is it gonna replace it or what? I'm not, I can't, I, they didn't really, mention that I just know that it yeah if you're gonna if you want to stay with it you know beyond like whatever you've already paid for then you're gonna you're not gonna you're gonna have to go into the 1995 ones of uh, the 1995 a month okay they're not the uh, old like the old version whatever it was like that is gonna be replaced by the you know and I think if someone is a current to be mindset uh, member then they get like a special like offer, like they get like a free, you know, free month or two or something like that. But I, I can't exact, I don't remember that exactly what they said. So, if, so if you pay that 19 or 20 bucks a month, you're going to have the option of doing the 2B mindset or the 21 day fix program. They're either, either or, or they, yeah, do yeah, they're, they're totally, they're, they're both separate. The 2B mindset is that's one option. That's 1995 a month. And then the, the portion fix, that oh, is separate. that is also another option that's 1995 a month okay yeah um oh my god there was a ton of other speakers too so besides like the product launches um they're like well, obviously we're launching out in france in january so they're gonna have like a toolkit for that in december to give us some ideas of how to launch if we're you know into the france the french market um, they had a social media panel, um, which I'll post the notes from that in the bod. Um, but basically, they had four girls get on stage and talk about Instagram, how to increase your audience, um, how to you know talk to people. So there was a lot of great notes on that that they gave us um, that I'll post in the bod group 
Is there anything from the other first day that you? Um, there was a really good speaker, uh, Mandy Kai. She was on our team call, I think, back in like February. Uh, I think she's been a coach for like three years. I think she hit 15 star diamond. Um, one thing I, 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 she said that's really helped her create successful coaches right from the get go is that on her like stories on her social media and stuff, she talks a ton about the vital behaviors. She doesn't call them vital behaviors, but she talks a lot about the vital behaviors so that the people that are watching her, when they do sign up as coaches, they already really, they already kind of know like what the vital behaviors are. They don't, they don't call it vital behaviors because she doesn't call it that on her social media, but they already know like that, you know, they know what they need to be doing to be successful. So when they sign up as coaches and she gives them a training, they are, they're already kind of like, yeah, I knew that this is what I was going to have to do. I, I knew that this is what I was going to be doing. Um, and she said that's really helped her coaches like have success right out of the gate is her being upfront and honest about what the vital behaviors are and like, a, you know, kind of sharing that with her followers. Um, so they know what, what coaching entails, like the behind the scenes, the actual like activities. Um, there was, I forgot who, I don't know who said this, who, who's speaking, but they had a thing on like the qualities of, of top coaches, like, you know, kind of, they gave like a list of like things that everybody can strive for. So to, you know, number one would be their confident. They, they believe in themselves, the products, the compensation, they work towards like becoming better every single day. Their number two is they're not perfect. So Half of these coaches that go to, the, you know, all of us, nobody's perfect. So they're relatable. They're showing up. They're making mistakes. That's what's going to make you more relatable to other people. Um, as we always hear, they are consistent. So like Pat was talking about, that girl always is talking about the four vitals. Um, they invite their product to the product, recognition, personal development. Number five is they're coachable. So they show up. They get on team calls. Um, they get on the national wake up call. They go to events. They're always asking, what can I do to be better? They're creative. So creative is in like launches or sneak peeks. I know some, so many times we're afraid to do like a sneak peek or something like that, but you know, the only way that you're going to learn to run a sneak peek or coaching is just to try it out and do it. Um, so they're creative with doing those different things. They're having fun with it. Um, that's a big thing that two coaches talked about is that you have to have fun with this business. You have to make it fun, pair up with other coaches that are having fun with it. And you're going to, when you are, are having fun with it, it's just going to show so much more. So getting to live events is huge. You know, just going to these, you know, super Saturday, which is in three weeks is, People are going to watch you. They're going to see you at this event. They're going to see that you're at a live thing. You're working out with other people. So having fun with it and going to live events. And number eight, they're genuine. So genuine, they want to help people. They're on a mission. They have like a bigger vision um, of where they want to go with this. Um, then like the day-to-day, -day, you know, they have this like long-term um, long vision of what they want to do with the business. So I forgot who, who was. There was, I think that was, that was uh, Doug Moss, like one of the he, – he's like the VP of coach. Uh, oh, co yeah. Coach that, okay. he like, he's in charge there. of all like the 15-star diamonds. But, yeah, he said like – he said confidence, but then he also had like a caveat to it, and he was like – he works with all the 15-star diamonds, and he said they're confident, but they lose their confidence at times. So top coaches, even top coaches, lose their confidence at times. He said the difference is like – they don't stay there. They don't stay in that like funk. They, they, they find ways to get themselves out with, whether it's finding a, a book that works for them or a new program or a new work, you know, it's, it's something that gets them excited about what they're doing so that they can get back in their rhythm of making the invitation process fun. Um, he also said that, yes, they're not perfect. And the fact that they're not perfect is kind of their superpower. The things they, that, that they struggle with are what has become their, their strength. So their struggle has turned into their strength, whether that's they struggled with their mindset or they struggled with not having an, enough income to live the life they wanted to live. Whatever their struggle was, they turned that into like their, their 
strength because they were able to connect with other people that had that same struggle, whether it was a financial struggle or uh, emotional struggle or whatever it was, they connected with other people that had that same struggle. And that connection it allowed those people to relate to them and then go on the journey with them. So that struggle actually ended up being their biggest strength. Um, so that the fact that they're not perfect is, is said that, you know, if you're perfect, it's probably isn't the best uh, thing for you. So, um, so yeah, that was, a, I really liked his thing. Um, Holly Hillier spoke. She was like, a, she's a two time top coach. She talked about like sharing your story, how to share your story. And she kind of had like a four part, four parts to kind of how she teaches your coaches to share your story. One is you share your past Two, you share kind of where you're currently at three, um, your future, like where you're going. So like the reason she's had so, so, so much success is because she's constantly sharing like where she's going, her, you know, her like vision and, and why that's important to her. So like for her, one of her big goals was to be able to have a, a lake house in Michigan where her husband's from, because that's where his, his family lives, his mom, his dad, his brothers, his sisters. So she could have just said like, Hey, like my vision is to have a lake house in Michigan. And everybody would have been like, Oh wow. Like that's so cool. But she shared like why that was so important to her. You know, like the fact that her, uh, her mother-in-law, I think it was, and her father-in-law and all that side of the family is all there and the husband's across the country and doesn't get to see them as much. And so she invited people into to that emotional side of it. She also like, because her husband, I think was military and moved around a lot. She also wanted to have like a home where she could have, instead of just saying, Hey, I want to be able to afford a new home and get my, uh, you know, be able to stay in one place. She said that she never really got to celebrate and have the big birthday party for her son that her son really wanted because they were always moving and their friends were never in the same place. And so every birthday she would, it was always the same. Like it was just the three of them. Um, and then she finally got to the point where she could retire him and have this home where all the friends could come over for the son's birthday party. And when she finally got to have that big birthday party for her son that he really wanted, all of the people on social media that had been following her journey were like so excited for her and got to live on that journey along with her. So it wasn't just, Hey, I want to have this dream home. It was like the emotional connection to that, why it was so important. And then same with the, the lake house, they just get really good at sharing their vision and why that's so important. And then people can go along for that journey um, as well. So. Yeah, I thought she, I had a couple of notes on hers. Um, she talked a little bit about how in the beginning she watched Melanie Metro's marketing plan where it's like you do your challenge group, your free group, and then you do like your coach sneak peek. And so she found in the beginning of her business, like she only talked about coaching during that third week when it was a coach sneak peek. And so she wasn't finding quality coaches or, you know, she wasn't, she was only talking about coaching maybe that one week. And she realized that she needed to start talking about coaching more. So like on a daily basis of like, just little things on her stories or in her, in her posts. Um, so she changed the, the aspect of just doing it that one week to like doing it on a daily basis, getting more comfortable talking about coaching. And that helped her just become more confident with talking about coaching. And then she also talked a lot about, you know, who is your ideal coach on Instagram? Like when she's talking to somebody on, on her Instagram, it's like to a very specific person Like she's, talking to her brand and the way that she finds her people is she follows brands on Instagram that are like smaller accounts. So like she talked about how she was, you know, um, had her younger, her kids and she liked little products. So she would find accounts that had like, you know, 10,000 followers and she would start to follow people through there. Um, and then she would start to connect with those people on an emotional level, like, like Pat said, like talk about her pain points, her past. And so she was able to kind of narrow it in. But the biggest thing I got out of her thing is that she doesn't just talk about coaching to invite somebody to a sneak peek. She's talking about it like continuously about like maybe somebody else's stories or, or hers. So 
So that was a big, big thing that I took from hers. And then Kim Carter had this thing. He talked about the fact that he had like just planted these roses and his roses were dying and he had to go to the nursery to figure out why. And it was these bugs called thrips. Like these, I don't know what these thrips are like something that kind of just deteriorates the rose. And so he kind of made an analogy of like, what are the thrips in this business? What are the things that are deteriorating your motivation? And so he called them like these distractions that, that sidetrack our motivation and our energy and our activity and our success in the business. So distractions that disengage a coach from their business is any activity that defocuses, disengages your heart, diminishes your duplicability, like scrolling, following a lot of other coaches, overtraining, too many training videos. Uh, and then the internal treatment, he said, is keep vision and goals clear. So there's a big difference between goals and vision. And I think this is something that a lot of coaches don't really understand. And, and one of the coaches also talked about this, but goals is a very specific thing. Like I want to be a five-star diamond or I want to make $2,000 a week. Those are goals, right? Like a rank or a dollar amount A vision is what is going to happen when you get there, what that's going to look like. So if your goal is to hit five star, your goal is to make $2,000 a week. What is, what is your life going to look like? Why is $2,000 a week so important to you? Or if it's $500 a week, what would that do for you? What, how would that change your life? What would your life look like? How much stress would that take off your shoulders? How much of a, an emotional baggage would that take off your shoulders? How much more peace would you feel if you had that extra $500? And how would that feel? What would, your, what would it look like? That's the difference between a goal and a vision. So it's really, really important to have these concrete, clear goals, but then also have a very clear vision of what's behind those goals once you achieve that. So um, that's something she, re- she talked a lot about. So like for, for you know, I was thinking about how the, the ski trip that my dad went on, you know, that we got to go on. It was like, what's your goal? Oh, my goal is to make $2,000 a week. Okay, great. What's that going to look like? Well, that's going to look like the, I, anytime I want to go on a ski trip with my family, I don't have to ask a boss. I don't have to check my bank account. I can just call up my dad and be like, hey, dad, let's go on a trip. Let's go somewhere fun. And, let's, and then we just go. Like that's the vision behind the goal. So you have this concrete monetary goal and then you have this vision behind it. And a lot of times the, the vision is what's going to carry you on the days that you're having, you know, a down day or whatever it is, you know, so have those goals, but also help your coach set that vision behind the goals as well. Um, so, and then also internal treatment besides keep your vision and goals clear is focus on your controllables, build productive routines, be honest with yourself. Believe you can make a difference in other people's lives just by showing up to your own journey. Um, Another distraction, not setting any goals, not having any vision. Um, Other treatments, PD that feeds your your why, that feeds your vision. Um, Maybe, you know, part of your vision is just how you feel emotionally. You know, maybe just part of your vision is how it would feel to just be more at peace in, in your body, in your mind, you know? Um, so that's part of it too. Like PD that feeds your why that feeds your soul, uh, be solution oriented, own your inputs instead of listening to negative stuff all the time. You know, I, you know, it's important to be up to date with what's going on in the world, but if it's the only thing that's your, that you're listening to all the time and it's just negative, 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 because that's what the news knows gets your attention that's not going to give you the best mindset. So control what your, your inputs, know what you're putting into your brain. So you can stay up to date on the world and stuff like that, but also be doing your personal development, creating those positive inputs, because again, your mind is a garden. It's going to, what you put in is what you're going to get in that garden, whether it's weeds or flowers. So um, have a gratitude partner is a big one. Not just doing your gratitude, but having a gratitude partner, someone that you're checking in with, asking them what they're grateful for and having them ask you what you're grateful for, sharing what you're grateful for with them. So you have an accountability partner for gratitude. That was such a a powerful one. Surround yourself with people and things that lift you up. So those are just some of the distractions and then the the ways to kind of go around that. Um, Aaron Hopkins talked about volume 
she says she ha have new coaches get 30 days to just focus on their own journey. So she really tries to help her new coaches or her, which have, aren't customers, have never been a customer, give them 30 days to really focus on their journey so they fall in love with the products, they fall in love with their journey, they become a believer. Um, then you can create pods. She creates pods to train them on inviting. So when, you know, if you have a new coach starting, asks, you know, maybe you have another, two coaches starting together, create a group message, or if you don't, only if you only have one, ask around, see what other new coaches are starting at the same time and, and link, you know, talk to their sponsor and create a pod for, you know, your new coaches, the new coaches that are joining so that they get to learn together. Like that's the coolest thing about those pods is you're, you're not just going to like look at the people that are, have been coaches for years. You get to, these new coaches get to learn together and kind of move through that process together. So creating little pods for new coaches so they don't feel like they're on an Island. Um, after 30 days, the next goal is diamond or bust. She said it. So get 12 family and friends excited. I want to show them how to maximize the comp plan and diamond is how you get $18 per team cycle bonus. So if I can, if I'm going to show you how to maximize the comp plan, you got to get the diamond first. Cause that's when you start to maximize the team cycle bonus at $18 a pop. Um, she said, and this is, this is a good timing for this cause cause November is right around the corner. When you're trying to go for diamond or bus and bust and get your 12 family and friends excited about this, look at your Thanksgiving dinner table. That's who you want. The people who love, love you and support you, even if they aren't going to build a business, they're just going to be there just to support you and try maybe try some of the products. Um, set financial expectations, make them fall in love with the community, create lifers, have apprentice coaches. She has apprentice coaches in her challenge groups that, you know, before they have their own challenge group, they get to be an apprentice coach in her challenge group. Um, she also does, if, if someone's like a great challenger, she'll put them on a group message with two or three other coaches and just have those two or three coaches share why they love coaching. So that person has a better idea of, uh, you know, what coaching is all about. Um, and then everyone in her challenge group is always talking about energize and recover. Um, so people are hopping on and that's boosting her volume because people are coming in with the Shakeology challenge pack, but then in her challenge group, they're always talking about energize and recover. So people are grabbing those things um, as well. All right. Try to talk as fast as I could to get through all this. Um, There's a lot. I have a couple other things I'll post in there. Well, yeah. So um, that's but the main thing is like these people are just, you know, they have the same th thoughts that we have. They have the same, you know, setbacks sometimes. Like they have those exact same things. They have the exact same tools as us. Like they're no different than than you or me. And that's the cool thing about it is that they're just moving forward every single day. They cast that vision, like Pat said. Um, what that girl say? I don't know what she said. She said, are you working for today or are you working for your vision? To find it. But Keith Callahan is her um, her upline coach. And he just talks all about like, if, you know, what you want to accomplish is not going to happen right today, but you have a long-term vision and work towards it. Um, it's, you know, it's inevitable that it's going to happen. So lots of info. My brain is still mush. It's, a, it's exciting. I mean, uh, it's always one of my favorite weekends of the year because you get like reignited with, uh, new products that are coming out. You get reignited with the people in the business that are killing it. You get to bounce ideas off each other. Um, it was cool for me to, you know, to be able to take the team out to dinner, uh, to a really nice, like Mexican authentic Mexican restaurant and we ate some of the best stuff and had some of the best tequila um, and just talked business and life, you know, and, and so I hope that you guys have this as part of your, you know, vision of, okay, my goal is five star, but the vision behind that, one of the vision is I want to be able to go to this leadership event and surround myself with these type of people um, and, and be able to go to the dinner and with, you know, the leaders on team boom and, and chat with them and just get to know them more as, as a person. Um, that's one of my favorite parts of this whole thing is just getting to know each other better, you know, outside of Beachbody. So that's kind of the, the vision behind it. And I don't know if you guys saw, but I, I've been posting on my stories that, you know, Ashley kind of called me out that I haven't, 
I haven't, I, the last time I really fully picked a program and did it from day one all the way through to the end without missing a day and was 110% committed to it was probably when I did the shift shop test group um, like about two years ago. So she just kind of called me out and was like, hey, like I haven't seen a before and after photo from you in, in a while. Uh, what's going on? And, sh and I've been just kind of dabbling from program to program. And I'm sure you guys can relate to this where you just kind of wake up that day and you're like, I feel like this program today or I feel like this program today. And people like the, the guest speaker we had last week, like people don't want, aren't really interested in that. But if you have something you're really committed to and there's a story behind it and there's a journey, people want to latch onto that and, and root you on and even join you on that journey. So I challenge you guys and, and, uh, and call you guys out just like Ashley called me out. When's the last time you guys committed to a program from day one and did it all the way through to the end, the full program. And if, and if it's been a while, why not start with, something today or you know or monday whatever works for you but why not just start right now pick a program that you can and go on your social media and call yourself out and say i was just on a team call i got called out and it's been x amount of time since i committed to a program from from start to finish and i'm doing it and i'm putting it out there for all you guys to hold me accountable and once you put it out there on social media there's no turning back you, you know so that's the coolest thing about it you got nowhere to hide. So I hope you guys take me up on that challenge because I just did it on uh, yesterday uh, and it's already made the conversations flow so much more easily. It's so much more fun. The invitations, the conversations are going so much better. People are rooting me on, reaching out to me. Um, so I hope you guys take that challenge as well and join me on this thing with whatever program you decide to do. Um, and let's, let's crush it. We got, we got two months left in, in the year. Um, let's finish it out with a big, with a big, big boom. All right. All right. Let's get a big boom on three. You guys can unmute yourself. <clears throat> and don't forget super weekend, local events in less than three weeks, like two and a half weeks away. So make sure you're checking to see where that's going to be and getting your babysitters and dog sitters in order and all that fun <laughs> stuff. All right. Boom on three. One, two, three. Ooh. All right, let's go. All right, guys. Right. And tag me when you make that public declaration that you're doing this. Yeah. Let's go. I'll see you guys. Thank you. <laughs>